Just like focusing sunlight through a magnifying glass, a laser cutter works by focusing a laser beam travelling down from the mirror, through a lens and down onto your workpiece. The lens here has a focal length which is on this particular machine 50.8 millimetres. So from the lens here down to 50.8 millimetres is the optimal uh, cutting point for this laser cutter to do the work it has to do. If your work table or bed or piece of material that you're cutting is not level then the focal point of your lens could be above or below where it needs to do the hard work. In order to ensure that we get an even cut across the bed it's important to regularly check that our bed or work table is level. In this video I'll show you how. Start off by taking a piece of material of known thickness. It does no harm if you want to to check that the thickness is even across the material using uh, calipers but as long as you're pretty sure that the material is roughly of even thickness uh, across uh, the whole piece uh, then that's probably good enough. Start by dropping down your work table until the material is level with the edge of your machine. By pushing the material up into the corner using touch you can tell if the material slopes upwards or downwards and if you move it across the bed and try in each of the four corners you get a good idea of whether the bed is level front to back and side to side. If the machine is not level we can adjust this in a method I'm going to show you right now. If your laser cutter has a motorized z-axis then it's very likely to have a setup similar to the one I'm showing you here. On this particular cutter we have a stepper motor at the back left hand side, a timing belt which is a rubber belt with teeth in it, a tensioner here on the left and another on the right hand side and then three lead screws with, with toothed pulleys at the base of each which then supports the work table above it. Each of these lead screws can be adjusted and turned by hand if we loosen the tension on this timing belt. On this machine that can be done by finding the tensioner which on this machine looks like this and then with a 6mm allen key in this case I can loosen off the allen nuts that are holding it in place. That allows the belt to become slack and then I can take the belt off the pulleys and this allows me to then turn the lead screws independently uh, allowing me to make fine adjustments to the bed. In this case a turn to the left lowers the lead screw and a turn to the right raises the lead screw and therefore adjusting the bed. And if I show you that corresponding movement, so I'm moving the lead screw with my hand and you can see the material there is just dipping up and down below the level of the bed. And by moving that piece of material around in the bed and adjusting each of the lead screws by hand, I can make sure the bed is level. Once I'm happy with the position, I can put the timing belt back on the pulley and, and then tighten the tensioner and lock off those tensioning nuts. Thank <laughs> you.